Hello and welcome back to the session of Internet and working with Internet options. Today we would be talking about emails. Now in the previous section I talked about using your Internet browsers and searching. Let me go ahead and try it with emails now. I am going to use a new option here and uh, on this particular website we are going to try and type in www gmail.com which is already there and I press enter and I am going to this is going to load my account so I'm going to sign out here and let's see yes so I don't want to add account or remove I simply want to go to gmail again and let's see if it brings me to the new page because I want to create a new email account well, it is not going to bring me to a new page. Let us add account here and I am going to create account. So for creating a new account, this is my window. I can simply go ahead and put in all the details which are possible here. Let's see. First, let me choose my name, of course, and G. Let us choose a username. See, on the left hand side, it tells me. You can use letters, numbers, and dots. So uh, let's just try to make a sample email. Sample email at gmail.com. Will it work? No, this is already taken. So we get the options, what all options are available from Gmail itself. So I choose a username. Now this is the username which is going to be used for my email account. For this, I have to create a password. Again, the password, it says, use at least eight characters. So I'm going to choose the password. Okay, confirm my password. And I have to choose my birth month, day, and year. Okay. Let's see, it has to be, yeah. And I am a female, my number, it is going to, now see, this is this is going to give me a text message in order to, so if you want to create an email account with Gmail, you need to have a valid telephone number available. It already has my country code and your current email address let us see this means I need to have a spare email account you can if you do not have a spare email account you can choose it from your friend ask from your friend etc this is my location I go to the next step hopefully if I have pulled in all the details yes it is going to give me I agree so I go down and I agree these are the terms and conditions of Google which I am not reading much but I'm saying I agree so once you choose I agree to this you can simply go ahead and have a new email address so my new email address is uh, samip g22 at gmail.com and it has a password which I have to still remember okay now what we are going to do is we are going to go here it tells me access applications check notifications and edit your account so I simply go ahead and click on to this account and I go to email continue to Gmail So it is going to load my email account is as easy as this all I need to have a valid phone number an alternate email address which I can always get from a friend or a friend's phone number and it is going to let me create my new mail account so I go to just it is just telling me what all options or what all settings are available by Gmail to tell me that this is what you can do in your email and this is how you can use it <coughs> Okay, let's go to Gmail and as you can see, I have an inbox, stored, sent mail, drafts and more. 
So these all options are available for me on my email account. Now in case if you want to learn how to use Gmail, you can simply go ahead and click on this once you create a new email. You can get it for your mobile phone, you can change your profile image, you can choose how exactly your image would come up here. And you can import contacts and email and choose a theme. Let me choose a theme for my email account first. It is going to give me beautiful set of pictures and backgrounds for the email account. And let us choose this. Once I choose it, it's okay. Okay, this is another email account. Let's just try and close this window. And let's choose this if it works. And save. Yeah. I have this as my new background picture which I'm really liking now here I am just on for 25% so two things are completed these two things have been done I, if I want to learn how to use Gmail I can simply choose these options and let's see it has signed me out so I am going to sign in again Hopefully it works. Uh, no. Okay, cut this. In case if you forget your password, this is also an option available by Gmail to help. So just in a second, I think I forgot my password. I'll say I need help for this. Enter the password you remember. Let me see if I have. Now it's very important to know whether you have caps lock. If you can know that you have your caps lock. So I had the caps lock on. So I would simply put up and check out the email account. Now this is the number which I have put on. And hopefully I am going to get a text message here which is going to ask me and to enter a six digit code on my mobile phone this is yes I have got a number okay let's see in case if you forget your password let me just create it now and confirm the password and change it okay I have done and this is my email address okay I'm done this continue and hopefully it is it should go ahead and bring me back to my account so you see at times even if you forget your password I did not have to tell you by chance I just forgot it on the spot and we have been able to recover our email address again so we will we'll come back to learn to how to use Gmail and it is just going to give you a few options and help you how exactly you should be able to use these options so it tells you about your categories in your inbox you can choose a theme you can find your emails using the search option so you have all these things available which are going to help you and I can also open this in a new window so that in case if I want to read it in detail and keep it opened up I can save it okay yes and let us just close it here import context if I have any get gmail for mobile and change for file image these are the options which you can try on your own and it is going to be very much fun I'm sure now these emails have a very big advantage over the normal emails let's just try to know one of them say for example if I have another email address content development 25 at gmail.com and I have a subject of hi and I'm testing here hi this is a test email and if I have to send this email okay no sorry here okay and I send this email the moment I've sent, I think it's going to be hardly one or maximum two seconds that it's taken to send the email. It is very much convenient than a normal email, normal mail in fact, wherein my email has already reached the other address 
and I have a valid internet connection and it is going to make my messages very very fast as compared to uh, the normal mails which I sent of course these cannot be very much personalized however if I want to personalize them a little bit more I can add emojis that means I can add smileys or I can attach pictures I can insert a link I can insert a photograph I can insert file using drive in case if it's very very big file more than 25 MB I can attach files and I can change formatting options like I can change font I can bold it use you underline uh, text so these options help me personalize my email a little bit more as compared to normal emails but yes the process is so 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 much faster that it is going to help me work in an effective manner so this was all about emails I hope you learned a little bit and you would be able to explore and create a new email on your own and in case you, you forget your password I'm sure you know what to do. Thank you.